We want to try and get um, the area between two circles of very small difference in radius and later on the volume between two spheres with very small difference in radius. radius. So imagine you have a circle with radius r and then you have a circle with radius r plus dr. So you have a very small difference in radius between these two uh, circles. How would you get the area dA that's between the two circles? Which means basically you want to get the area of the circle that has radius r plus dr minus the area of the circle that has radius r. That's what we want to get. But we want to get it in the limit when dr is very small. We don't want to get it for an arbitrary uh, size of dr. We want to get it for a, 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 the, cert, the limit when dr goes to zero. So the intuitive approach, geometric approach to do this is to say that, well, cut the, the circle, the area here, and make it out into a rectangle. When you make it out into a rectangle, this is what you get. Now, what would this length be, the length of the rectangle? Clearly, the, le the length of the rectangle is this distance. And what's this distance? It's the circumference of the circle. Okay, and what's the circumference of a circle? 2 pi r. Okay, and then what's this distance, the thickness? Well, basically, it's just dr. So, using this idea, we can say that the, the area uh, between the two circles is just 2 pi r times dr, and you get a simple, intuitive way of getting the area between the two circles. But there is a more um, mathematical or calculus-based way of getting it without having to look at the, the actual uh, geometric approach, and that is to see how you get the difference in the value of a function of r, where you change r by a very small amount, so you're getting the area for radius r plus dr minus the area for radius r. This, in calculus, can be done in a, in a certain way to get the first order difference. It's very simple to get it, and the way you get it is, first we know what the area is. The area is for any circle is pi r squared. If you get the derivative of the area with respect to r, you get 2 pi r. You can prove that the first order approximation to the difference between the two areas, which we call dA, is just the derivative of the area with respect to r times dr. So the derivative of the area with respect to r is just 2 pi r, and you multiply 2 pi r times dr, you get the area. So this is the more mathematical way of doing it, and it gives you the first order approximation, which is good enough when the limit when dr goes to zero. There may be higher order terms that are go like dr, dr squared, but we, we can ignore those if we're getting the limit, the difference in area and the limit when dr goes to zero. <clears throat> so this is the final conclusion that dA, dA means the difference in area between the two circles when dr is very small, it's approximately equal to dA by dr, dr, and dA by dr is two pi r dr. The same thing we can do for two spheres. If you have a sphere of radius r and then another sphere of radius r plus dr, how do you get the volume between the two spheres? In the limit when dr goes to zero, in a very small difference in radii. We can use, again, the intuitive geometric approach. We can say, well, the volume is just the area of the sphere, the surface area of the sphere, times the height. What's the surface area of a sphere? And what's the height? The surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r squared, and the height is dr. So when you multiply 4 pi r squared times dr, this will give you the volume in the limit when dr is very small. You can also follow the calculus method of doing it, the other way of doing it, the uh, algebraic method of, method of doing it. And the way to do that is, it's again, you're looking at the difference in the value of a function when you change the variable by a very small amount. And this difference to first order, it's the same as we did before. Find first the volume in general. What's the volume in general for any sphere? It's 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Then get the derivative of v with respect to r. What's the derivative of this with respect to r? The r go th cubed becomes 3r. So the 3 will cancel with the 3, and you get 4 pi r squared. Same as before, dv, dv is the difference in volume in the limit when dr is very small. It's the first order approximation to the difference in volume. 
and it's equal to the derivative of the volume with respect to radius times the dr, times dr. And the dv by dr is just 4 pi r squared, so you get 4 pi r squared dr. So this is the summary for the difference in volume between the two spheres uh, in the limit when dr goes to zero. It's just important to note that this is only valid in the limit when dr is very small. If dr is, if the distance, if the radii are uh, not so close to each other, you can't use this approximation. 